I come in peace like a pair. Get it? Another father saw relationship full of damage and better in every sense, but man, they still refuse to handle me. They don't care if you hurt and there's a man still. Must be rare at every chance and make it up the hill. How they treat you is not fair and a fake reveal. And for this, I'm not prepared, but I persevere. What's up, everybody? I am King Richard, aka the God of Rap from Creative Minds Entertainment, back with another book summary slash review. Today we are going to dive into The King in Me by Dr. Solomon Tension. Now, this is a very, very good book. I really like this book. It's actually a series, so I'll speak more later on that. A quick background on Dr. Solomon Tension. He is a professor and an administrator with over a decade in education. Yes, that's right. Ten plus years. Uh, he specializes in relationships, parenting, personal development in his audiobooks. So many of his audiobooks are that is his niche. He does pretty well in that niche. I read a few. Let's just say I know about it. All right. Um The King in Me is a very thorough audiobook series about self accountability. Hmm. We need more of that, like a ton of that. Um we want to talk about growth in this book. We want to talk about healing, forgiveness, mental health, etc. etc. So I think that those are key points that really resonate with today's time because in this time, this is the first generation to really tackle mental health. So I think that having more books about mental health and what we can do to better mental health is always a positive thing. It is also, he is also a man of color and you know exactly what I mean when I say that, um, which is a wonderful thing because as a minority, we need more material we need more resources. We need more assistance um, to resolve the issues that we have within this country. Um, this benefits our families. This benefits our community. This benefits our finances. So I think that's wonderful. Um, the first book is under an hour. So it's very, very short. But, 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 wait a minute. Wait. He hits on a lot of key points within the community, within the culture uh minorities specifically african americans uh black folk um so that's why i really like uh reading books um uh, from people with similar backgrounds to myself so let's get into my key takeaways from the king in me now i'm just doing the key takeaways from this particular book not the whole series maybe we'll get to the other chapters later on i mean the other series the other books in the series later on Number five, rawr, rawr. number five, the raw discussions about purpose and self-discovery. I feel like a lot of times in uh, um, certain books, they don't really give enough of their self in, within the book, especially when they have experiences that match up very well with the material that they are presenting in said book. I think Dr. Solomon Tension does a wonderful and amazing job of talking about his personal life within the book and about purpose for young men, um, the African community, African American community at large. Also about self-discovery. Once again, a lot of us don't really know ourselves because we're born into environments that shape us in a negative way, television and media. And we see a lot of things that are not good for us. Purpose and self-discovery. That was one big key takeaway for me. Number four, the pace and the delivery of said narrator. Now, the narrator's pretty good. The narrator makes the book. The narrator is the one that brings the book alive for the audience, for the listener. And I really think that the narrator did a very, very, very good job with his pace. His linguistics, would that word apply for right now? In linguistics, I like that word use that word yeah yeah but i think he did a very good job um delivering it it was very clear the audio was great um bringing a story to life it's like story time when you was a child whether it be in the library or it be in your home with your parents um or even at school you know and it's always wonderful to hear a narrator really bring a story alive and i think the narrator did a great job 
And Number three. As a man of color, I related to the personal stories in the specific culture, right? As I was just speaking about before, we have different cultures, we have different ideologies. And in the black community, the African-American community, a lot of times we're used to not seeing ourselves in certain areas, in certain facets of life. But being able to see yourself in certain areas, in certain facets of life, really brings things alive for you. And I feel like Dr. Solomon Tension did an amazing job of uh, relatability in these stories. And I seen myself, my sister, my cousin, my uncle, my grandfather within these stories. So that made the book more explosive and that more interesting. So being able to see myself within the stories that he was telling and, and the ways he was delivering it, I just felt like that was a wonderful thing. And that's one reason I really like this book. Number two, this book is very introspective and very insightful. We all need that. Um, it comes with practices uh, that you can do in your own personal life at home, journals, guides, things of that nature. Because uh, like I said, when you're tackling certain issues in life, you need to note them. And this does a good job of noting your personal health, your mental health, um, your emotional health. It does a lot of that. Um, and they even have like charts and guides and stuff in the uh, text. Um, so when you're listening to it, to drive the point home and to make this relatable to you um, so you can practice these things, these steps within your life, not just read about them, but really implement them within your life, your daily life. And I think that's very positive and it's a wonderful thing. That was another thing that I found that I really like about this particular book. Number one, number one. My only takeaway, and this is just a minor takeaway. I don't want you to think that this means I don't enjoy the book or I don't like it or I don't love the positivity and all of that. The affirmations, I love it. Love it all. But my only takeaway that it leans a little too heavy on religion. Basically, uh, in this particular instance, it leaned very heavily on Christianity, which once again, I was a former Christian. Um, but I understood why based upon Arthur um, and his walk and his background. And I understood and why an audience is probably mainly intended for people of religious or spiritual background. So I understand why. But that was my only minor takeaway. Other than that, I thought the book was really, really good. This is a very good read. I don't think it just applies to men of color, but applies to males very well. And if you are trying to get this book, as usual, the link will be down in the description. Click that link. Go buy that book. Go read that book. Stream that book, what have you. Matter. If you do not have an Audible account, it does not matter. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial with no hassle, uh, no charge to your credit card, um, and you can read the book and several others. So uh, just keep engaged uh, so I can continue making this beautiful content for you. I thank you. I never take it for granted. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm out.